Lion's Den FX The Anti-Hero From the Lion's Den FX News Desk Hundreds of Twitter employees quit Business Hundreds of employees at the social media giant, Twitter Inc. have reportedly decided to quit the company after the company's CEO Elon Musk forced the staff to commit to long hours at high intensity or leave, New York Times informed citing sources. Japan's annual inflation rises to 3.7% in October. Economy Consumer prices in Japan rose by 3.7% in October, compared to the corresponding month the year prior, coming in at slightly above analysts' projections to stand at 102.7, while the figure went up by 0.6 percentage points on a monthly basis, the country's statistic bureau revealed in its report. The Consumer Price Index CPI, excluding fresh food and energy increased by 2.5% compared to the same period the year before. The monthly change was set at 0.7 percentage points. In addition, the same index excluding only fresh food gained 3.7% on a yearly basis, marking the highest figure since February 1982. Previously, the Bank of Japan announced it will keep its monetary policy unchanged, maintaining the short-term interest rate target at a negative 0.1% amid economic uncertainty. To maintain the interest rate in this channel, please hit the like button. Amazon CEO says layoffs will continue into 2023. Business Amazon.com Inc. CEO Andy Jassy revealed on Thursday that the company will continue to lay off more workforce in 2023, confirming speculations of the company's plans to cut workforce in divisions that are deemed as less profitable. According to the memo by the tech giant's CEO, the exact number of reductions has not yet been specified, however, he disclosed that the decision will impact employees in the stores and PXD divisions. Amazon has weathered uncertainty and difficult economies in the past, and we will continue to do so, the CEO wrote. Earlier this week, it was reported that the company will cut nearly 10,000 of its employees in the near future, as the tech giant seeks to restructure its divisions after reporting worse than expected financial results for the third quarter owing to macroeconomic uncertainty. Kashkari, if inflation falls in 2023, Fed may stop hikes. Economy President of the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis Neil Kashkari said on Thursday that while he cannot be persuaded by one-month positive inflation data, the Fed may stop raising rates if inflation slows. The real inflation should be on joining this channel and hitting the likes button. Kashkari noted that projections for the past two years were wrong and that he has to be convinced that inflation plateaued before advocating halting future rate hikes, saying we're not there yet. He pointed out that if the projections that inflation will fall rapidly in 2023 prove to be true, he would imagine sometime next year the Fed would be able to stop raising interest rates, and eventually be in a position to start normalizing rates in the other direction. The central banker explained that rates have been raised to cool down demand, balancing it out with supply, but that signs it remains high make him unsure that enough has been done. I don't see cooling in this room, until I find evidence that the underlying demand is really starting to moderate, I would remain very hesitant to predict when the rates will stop growing. Biden praises Pelosi after stepping down announcement. Politics United States President Joe Biden praised outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and thanked her for her service. History will note she is the most consequential Speaker of the House of Representatives in our history, in everything she does, she reflects a dignity in her actions and a dignity she sees in the lives of the people of this nation, Biden said in a statement. She might be stepping down from her leadership role in the House Democratic Caucus, but she will never waver in protecting our sacred democracy, he added. Earlier in the day, Pelosi announced she will not be seeking another term as the leader of Democrats in the House of Representatives, stressing a new generation should lead the House Democratic Caucus. The outgoing speaker will, however, continue to serve as a representative after winning a new term in the lower chamber of Congress in this year's midterms. Meta employees fired for taking over user accounts. Business over 20 employees and contractors working for Meta Platforms Incorporated were found to have taken over user accounts against company rules, the Wall Street Journal reported on Thursday. They were fired or disciplined for misuse of an internal tool known as Oops, people familiar with the matter said. According to the report, the tool is used to restore accounts and is reserved for users the employees know, including friends and family. However, 
Sources claim some workers and contractors accepted thousands of dollars in bribes from outside hackers to access user accounts. They also stated that Meta undertook a lengthy internal probe resulting in terminations and other disciplinary action. You don't have to be a hacker to hit that like button. Twitter temporarily closes all offices. Business. Twitter Incorporated reportedly informed its employees that all offices will be temporarily closed effective immediately, platformer managing editor Zoe Schiffer wrote on her Twitter account. We're hearing this is because Elon Musk and his team are terrified employees are going to sabotage the company, Schiffer explained in her post, noting that the offices will supposedly be reopened on November 21. Earlier today it was reported that Twitter's policy regarding remote work could change, forcing employees to meet with their colleagues on a reasonable cadence if given the approval to continue to work from home. The reports come a few hours after several Democratic senators urged the country's Federal Trade Commission FTC, to investigate Twitter for potential breaching of consumer protection laws, and the proposed ultimatum by Twitter's CEO Elon Musk that urged employees to commit to working long hours or leave. Long hours are not needed to watch and learn at Lion's Den FX. Join Lion's Den FX today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.